Hi, I'm Bradley Hughes. I'm in sunny South Carolina. I'm going to talk about some drills or ball hitting ways that we can feel that roundness in the swing that I just mentioned. So one of the easiest ways is I'm going to set up a little path here that I've got to get used to getting the club through. So what I will do is set my club down and make a little gate here. Give myself just a little bit of room on either side of that club. And if my target is this way, I'm going to start to put a little bit of hook into these tees behind here. And then we can also put one out in front of our ball. Pretty standard, because what we're going to do is when we swing, the club is going to work from the inside, it's going to square up and then it's going to start to work around again. So we don't want to be swinging this way over there, hence that T. And of course we don't, any time we miss this gate and get too quick or fast or come over the top, we're going to clip these other T's. So it's a really good drill to hit balls out of because what it'll do is it'll tend to get our eyes used to coming from the inside and then working around on the other side. So we've got our little horseshoe gate set up. You can see I have a club on the ground. This is more so just to make sure that I don't aim through the gate. I can't cheat by doing that. I need to aim where I would normally aim, straight my target there. And from this visual now, what I'm seeing is it looks like the club has to travel in from here. So if I hit some balls out of here, what I want to do is it'll really allow me to give me a sense of actually keeping this smoother to get it through that gate and then it will make me quicken up after the ball, which is what I want to do. Most people get too fast back here and they throw the club around. So we're going to hit the wrong tees doing that. Our goal is aim correctly. From our view we'll see a little hook entry. So we'll be nice and smooth, guide it through there and then we'll create a lot of speed after the ball because that's where we're going to feel like we're going to hit the ball after here and not so much back here. And you can see I hit a perfect divot right through the gap, didn't touch any of the tees, ball first, divot later, the ball went straight at my top.